Look at it. I mean, just look at it. That has got to be the craziest airport I have ever landed in. That is Lukla Airport in Nepal and it was built in 1964 under the supervision of Sir Edmund Hillary, who was the first person to climb Mount Everest along with Tenzing Norge Sherpa. Now, this airport is famous because for 20 years it was rated as the world's most dangerous airport. And you can look at it. You can see why. It just falls off the end of a cliff. And I don't think that runway is longer than maybe 300 meters, maybe 400. That is crazy how they land planes at this place. Lukla Airport is crazy, but Lukla is beautiful because it is the gateway to Mount Everest. This is where people start their journey towards Mount Everest, whether they're going on a trek to base camp like I'm going or onwards towards Mount Everest as well. So today, I'm going to take you around the town a little bit and also talk to you about something very important in the world of cryptocurrency because this is still Connect and I'm Nikhil Chinapa. On today's episode, we're going to talk about financial scams in the world of cryptocurrency. And let's face it, financial scams have been around for as long as there's been money. In fact, I'm pretty sure that the Egyptians in 5000 BC had financial scams. But the earliest financial scam that I know of was done during the time of the Roman Empire. In AD 193, the Praetorian Guard, which is the company that's supposed to guard the emperor, got rid of the emperor and tried to sell the Roman Empire. Now, this is one of the oldest scams possible where you're trying to sell something that doesn't belong to you. But a guy actually bought it. A guy called Julianus paid 250 gold coins to every single soldier in the Praetorian Guard and bought the empire. But hang on a second. This was not a legitimate transaction. So it never went through. People didn't believe it. And Julianus got deposed. And the new emperor who took over, fun fact, the first thing that he did was execute all the guards that tried to pull off that scam. But that was AD 193. Lukla town has this amazing street right through the heart of it with shops lining both sides and restaurants and it is really, really pretty. I was here earlier on today and the sun was out and the sky was beautiful and blue, but unfortunately, it's a bit cloudy now. But here on the show, we're talking about conspiracy and how not to get scammed in the crypto world. In the 1920s, there was a very popular scheme called the Ponzi scheme and it was one of the biggest scams run till date. It was named after a guy called Charles Ponzi. And in many ways, that scheme and that scam is still run today by many different people in many different ways. So if you want to protect yourself, make sure you read up about the Ponzi scheme and don't get conned. More recently, you've probably heard about this, the Nigerian email scam where you would get an email from someone who said I've got a lot of money and I want to send it to you but you send me some money first so I can verify your bank account and I can send you some money back in return now come on guys think about it if somebody has a lot of money why would they pick some random person from the internet to give it to wouldn't they give it to their friend their girlfriend their family or even their pet dog just use your common sense the first warning sign that you're getting scammed is when someone says you send me some money and I'm going to send you more money back. That's definitely not going to happen. So that was our first warning flag. Pay attention. If somebody asks you to send them money or send them cryptocurrency, you know you're getting scammed. Now, let's come back to Lukla for a while. Oh, that's okay. We're all good. We're all friends. Yes, we're all friends. Oh, we're friends. So the architecture here in Lukla is very beautiful. It's traditional. It's Nepalese. And there's lots of different structures that they've put together to create a very interesting mosaic of colorful buildings with shops at the bottom. And I really like the vibe of just walking down the street. But let's talk about some cryptocurrency scams. And there was one that happened very recently that involved Twitter and Bitcoin. Basically what happened in 2020, just last year, a whole bunch of blue tick accounts on Twitter got hacked. That's right. All together, verified accounts on Twitter got hacked. There's a game of football happening here in the street. People like Barack Obama, Joe Biden, Elon Musk and Kim Kardashian all had their accounts hacked and they sent out the same message, basically saying, send me some Bitcoin and I'll double it and send it back to you. And because all these messages were coming out from verified Twitter accounts, a lot of people fell for it. Later on, 
Twitter admitted that somebody had gotten hold of one of their internal tools and all these accounts had been hacked. And by the way, they found the mastermind. He was a 17 year old kid from Florida. Could you believe that? Wow. Hello, sweetie. Have you invested in Bitcoin, sweetie? No, you haven't. Do you know about the Twitter scam, sweetie? No, you don't. That's because you're doggies and you're very happy. But in the crypto world, there was also the Soul Starter scam, which was very, very clever. Soul Starter is the premier IDO of Solana. And when they announced their pre-sale tokens, people went absolutely crazy. There was a massive rush of people trying to buy those tokens and scammers started to contact people who'd applied to buy those pre-sale tokens. What scammers did was they sent people a message saying that they'd been selected to buy some pre-sale tokens and to go immediately to soulstarter-sale.org and purchase those tokens within 10 minutes. Now, there are two scam signs over here. Number one, there's a timer. And where there's a timer, you have to be very, very careful because scammers will try and get you to do things quickly so that you're not thinking very clearly. So if there's a countdown timer, be afraid be very afraid. The second scam over here is the actual URL. Soulstarter's real URL is soulstarter.org, not soulstarter-sale.org. And the thing is, on the internet, anybody can create any URL. So you really need to check the URL of where you're making a purchase, if you're making a purchase. But the Soulstarter scam didn't stop there they went one step further. They realized that people had gotten on to the soulstarter-sale.org URL and they announced a new URL and said, go buy your tokens from soulstarter.org. And everybody thought that this message had to be genuine. But hang on, there was a trick that was being played here as well. See what happens when you type soulstarter in this font. It looks perfectly normal. But if you change the font, you realize that the L is actually a capital I. So people were being directed to a site called soystarter.org and not soulstarter, which is why before you do any purchase or any transaction on the internet, especially with crypto, make sure you check and double check the URL. So the moral of the story is that if it looks too good to be true, it probably is. Guys, come on. Do your own research. Don't be scared to do your own research because in this trustless world of DeFi and cryptocurrency, the only person that you can actually trust is yourself. So those were some of the more well-known crypto scams and financial scams. But if you're invested in crypto and you want to sleep peacefully at night, there's just two things that you need to remember. Number one, learn what crypto was created for. What does it do? How does it work? Essentially, do your own research. There's an entire episode that I've done that's dedicated to doing your own research right here on Connect with Nikhil Shinapa. So make sure you check that out. And number two, make sure that you top up your emotional balance. Now we've spoken about this before. Your trading balance is what you trade with. You buy and sell crypto tokens and crypto coins. But every time you make a profit, take a profit. Don't get too greedy because markets go in cycles. The market is going to bottom out again and it is going to give you an opportunity to buy some of the coins that you missed out on. So don't get too greedy and make sure you keep topping up your emotional balance so that when and if the market tanks or corrects, you don't feel completely devastated or as the crypto community calls it, wrecked. Now, before I leave you, let me give you a quick snapshot of some of the more popular red flags or crypto scams that you might come across. Number one, pump and dump, also known as rug pulls. Always be careful about buying into a coin when it's just skyrocketed in the matter of a few minutes or a few hours. That is most probably a pump and dump going on. Number two, imposters in the comment section on YouTube. Very often, a scammer will make a fake profile using somebody's original photograph or original name and try and fool you into believing that it's the original content creator trying to reach out to you. Be careful of YouTube comments and who's actually behind them. Also be very careful of direct messages or DMs on social media platforms, on Instagram, Twitter, and especially Telegram. I'm also gonna list out some of the easier ways to avoid some of the crypto scams or the red flags that you encounter on a day-to-day -day basis. Number one, try and make sure that you use two-factor authentication. This actually works and it helps in keeping your account and your portfolio safe. Number two, 
make sure that you check the website of any place that you're going to be doing a transaction of. Check the URL and make sure it's the right one. Number three, don't reply to random people on social media, especially people who ask you to send them money and promise high rate of returns like 20% or 30%. And by the way, if you answer to these messages, you get flagged as an active user and they'll keep chasing you. And the last but probably most important piece of advice that I can give you is never keep your seed phrase on your laptop, your computer, or upload it to a cloud service. That is one surefire way of potentially getting hacked somewhere down the line. It's happened to a lot of people. If you have a seed phrase, always use the good old fashioned way. Use a notebook and a pen, write it down, and put that notebook away somewhere safe. So those were some of the updates from Coinspiracy and tips and tricks on how you can keep yourself safe. I hope you enjoyed them. And if you did enjoy these tips, make sure that you leave a comment in the comment section. I'm Nikhil Chanapa, and I'll catch up with you soon on another episode of Connect. Ciao.